Today we're going to learn how to make a performance to plan chart. The Excel file that we've got has tests that need to be completed, the plan date for when these are to be completed, and then you'll see also when those tests were actually completed. Now these don't necessarily need to be in chronological order. So now we'll go over to Tableau. We've already linked the data. The first thing we'd like to look at is see what the planned date is. So we're going to change this. We want the exact dates. And then we want to see what the tests are. Now we don't want to see where they hit. We're just more interested in the number of tests. And so we're going to come down here and we're going to change this from a dimension to an attribute, I mean a, to a measure and we want to know the count. Okay, So this is not quite what we're looking for. So now we're going to come up and select quick table calculation. There's a lot of different options here but we want to see how it will progress over time. So we want a running total. So there we go. This tells us when our tests are going to be completed or plan to be completed and at the end of the year, or at the end of June, we should have all 31 tests completed. Great. Now let's take a look at the dates, or the projects that have completed already. Change this to exact date again. And now we're seeing that at the end of the, in, at the, end of the time period, all the projects are completed. Now we'll remember, when we go back to our original data, there's a lot of blanks. We should only have about seven projects actually completed at this point. The problem is that all those blanks are showing up on this first date. Now the way we can get around that is creating a new calculated field. We're going to call this completion status. And we'll say if is null, so if the completed date is blank, then we're going to say that it's still open. Otherwise, we're going to say that it's complete. And then end, and we're good to go. So now we're going to bring that completed status, we're going to go to the completed a marks card, and we're going to put that status on the details. Essentially it's going to break out into different lines, but because the line for open is all null values, nothing shows up. Now this is kind of what we were expecting to see. Now we'd like, the way it is now, it's a little bit hard to compare what's going on, so we'd like to have them overlaid on each other. So we'll come over here, click the dual axis and then we see here they're not quite lined we got February and July so now we want to synchronize the axis okay that's more of what we were expecting to see we're gonna to want to hide this this is telling us that the completed date has a bunch of nulls so we'll hide that now as we came over here you'll see that there's they put this measures name under this color tab so we'll pull that off and now we'll just click on the color this is the completion date I'll oh, leave completion date, let's make the planned date we're going to change this to orange there you go and then we need to come up here and change this one to blue okay there you go well, we'll get rid of this, we'll hide this. And we're going to try, we want to format this down here as well. Actually, we're going to edit the axis. Now, if you get rid of all the title, everything goes away. What we really want, we still want it to show what year it is. So if we come back here to edit axis, if we put just a space in there and then apply it, the year will pop back up. And there you go.